Okay guys, well this video is fairly short, but it's one you don't want to miss. I'm going to show you guys how you can create a straight UV out of something that is completely curved. Here we go. Okay, very well, welcome back. Uh, we're in Maya 2020, we're doing a subscriber request. I received an email from Emily and she has a trouble UV mapping an arched object, something looking like this, and it's not even a straight arch, it's kind of a, a funky one, right? So how do you do that? Well, we're gonna start off by creating a planar projection. So we've got something to work off of, right? We're gonna go to object mode, select this guy, we can go up to UV and we'll go to planar projection, option box, Let's reset it. And what I want to do is project from Y, so from the top. Yeah, click on Y, project. Let's see what we got. We're going to go to UV and UV editor, and here you go. Let's get rid of this. So this is kind of as expected, right? And as you can see, there's nothing straight about it. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to run an edge through the middle, and we're going to use that kind of as a baseline to start to straighten that out. So I'm going to go into object mode over here, select this guy. Control I to insert edge loop, set it to multiple and one, which will run it through the middle and put it in. There you go. Now, now that we have that selected, like I said, we're gonna use that you know, to kind of help us straighten that out, right? So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna shift right click and we're gonna go to straighten shell. Make sure I got it selected. Hang on. My bad, oh, yeah. Shift right click, straighten shell. There you go. That's a whole lot better. It's not perfect just yet, but it's a lot better, right? We're gonna go to UV shell, select it. Let's move it a little bit to the middle. There you go. So that's a good start, but we're not there yet. So what's next? Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click while we're in here, we're gonna go to UV mode right there. Yeah, we're gonna make sure we're in UV mode. We've got it selected. We're gonna shift right click again. We're gonna go to straighten, straighten UVs option box and make sure it's on UV and we're gonna apply and close. And boom, there you go. So if you got any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.